What started as a few steps about six months ago has turned into walking, swimming and biking today with the help of AI software. The technology uses electrodes to send personalized signals to spinal nerves which control leg and trunk movements. So a much more precise technology mm -hmm. which allowed us to target individuals with the most severe form of spinal cord injury. Clinically complete spinal cord injury, no sensation, no movement. And yet with this technology, they have been able to take independent steps outdoor, outside the laboratory. Scientists repurposed a spinal cord stimulator. So instead of stimulating nerves through the back of the spine, which works for managing chronic pain, signals reach the spine through a person's sides. This allows for very specific targeting. With this new technology that we have developed, our electrodes are more lateral. So we can access kind of a cable that enters the spinal cord at different location. And this way we can be very specific in the different region of the spinal cord that we activate. Findings published in the journal Nature Medicine show this electrode system works faster than previous attempts at electrically stimulating the spinal cord. The software that runs the device is also tailored to each person's anatomy. Um, to target the specific spots, you need to understand where they are. So for that, we modelize the spinal cords and we understand exactly where the anatomy of these different spots are. And uh, then we design uh, the, the stimulation following the anatomy of each person. It's been that it is a very personalized stimulation program. Mm -hmm. It's not a perfect system though. Scientists say while they've regained the ability to do things like walking or cycling, the patients did not regain natural movements. But Bloch says it takes time. And the more they train, the more they start building muscles and the more fluid it becomes and they understand what they have to do and they learn to walk with this technology. It's immediate, the, the movement is immediate, but you, you need to to understand how it goes to be better and better. And your body is also getting used to it. Curtin says they plan to launch a trial in about a year involving 70 to 100 patients, primarily in the United States. If the early findings are confirmed by larger studies, researchers say it could lead to those with spinal cord injuries being able to regain movement with just a single command using a phone or smartwatch. Sean Preble, Global News.